Okay, I've made some progress. I'm gonna take a break for today, but I now have wires all the way down to about here. Um, so getting there, uh, I'll uh, continue as I go here. I'm just gonna take a break because I'm starting to get a neck ache from leaning over this. But uh, as you can see, these do work very nicely because they kind of drop down out of the way. And then once I'll be able to wire those into the sockets, there'll be a easy, clear visibility across what's going on. Um, uh, and, uh, you know, if you do need to, for whatever reason, take things off, you can just desolder from the, the tubes and quickly pull out the whole board as needed. But uh, it uh, come along. I'm uh, actually enjoying the kind of process of seeing these little guys uh, line up well and get hooked in. Uh, and uh, I might try and do some macro shots for you guys uh, really closely of watching me kind of hooking it in and soldering it. But uh, for now, it's a, there's a lot to do, so you don't, you know, I'm not going to bore you with the detail of watching every single thing get soldered in. So there you have it. We'll uh, keep you posted. All right. So trying with a new camera today. So hopefully this goes all right. So what I'm going to do is continue to put these guys in. So I got to turn my fan on and get my soldering iron warmed up. And uh, then I'm going to try and continue getting these wires done all the way across the bottom. And then we'll switch it around and do them across the top. Um, with this vise, one of the things I'm trying to figure out now, I've got a new vise to hold this a little bit better. It's going to work great, except that I need to get some wires in in these two spots here. Uh, that may be a little tricky to figure out, but I think we'll get there. Um, I might have to take it out, slide it a little bit until I get those in and then slide it back. But uh, there you have it. We're going to start working on that. So. All right, and I've got um, over here, I've got my layout diagram blown up really big. I did that this week, which was kind of nice, so that I can see where all these wires are going. Right now I'm down into this range here, and I just got to keep moving across and get all these. This is where the bulk of them are. There's a lot less of them up on the top side, so hopefully that's in focus enough for everybody to see that, but that'll, that's making my life a little bit easier now, so. All right, so let me see, where was I last? Sometimes when you're soldering, you have a very tight space like this, you have to kind of be more creative of the angle you take to get in there. I'm trying to get this middle spot without damaging or touching the other caps. And I still have a bit of a gap there to fill. There we go. Now here is the spot near the screw. Well, I have to be quite careful because the last thing I want is to actually be touching that screw. 
So I'm going to kind of be really cautious about <coughs> how I solder that in. Because that is the high power as well. HT, if you will, B+. Plus. So now i got to try and loosen the vise a little bit and slide it over just a touch. Since I've completed this section, I should be able to overlap a little bit there. Yep, I can. Alright. That was the part I mentioned would be paper, was potentially a little tricky, but I got it. grounding wire so I have to have, now this one was one I almost didn't see it's so right here in the middle that's a grounding wire so I want to get that one before I don't miss it and now that I'm doing this I almost wonder uh, if I'll have enough distance with that I hope I will it's, yeah I think I will because it's even if it's left or right those those tubes are pretty close so all right Alright, let's see if I can get in there inside of that now, because that's going to be tight, but I think we got it. And I will also now touch up on these guys. Alright, short break, and I'm back at it. Uh, so, yeah, it looks like I may have counted wrong because I'm going to run out of grid connectors here pretty soon. But we'll leave one behind and add a couple more. I'll still check my count at that point. But, uh, alright, so. Now one of the things that I can stop for a second here to show off is sometimes you get some pretty crusty looking stuff built up and you want to try and get at it with a little bit of something like this. These are some older ones. You might need a little bit of, uh, um, what do you call it, a little bit of uh, denatured alcohol sometimes to get a little bit of this off, but you basically want to try and get all that flux off when you get to, the, to that point. I'll be doing that more later, but I just was seeing that and wanted to show. Uh, you'll see some black and some kind of yellowish orange stuff. That's the flux building up that you definitely want to clean up when you get a chance. So.
of shit balls. That was not intended. Okay, this is a foot switch one, so I'm gonna do a kind of a odd green one here. Because I didn't think I, I don't think I kind of accounted for that one, so. All right, now I've got two more little cables in here, one of which is a ground, and one of which is another grid. So the tricky part is this grid one, because it's gonna go kind of around where that resistor is as well, so I've gotta try and fight that around a little bit of a corner, kind of, if you will. But I think we'll be all right. Oh, whoops, I forgot to actually bend it. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. This is definitely being a pain in my butt. All right, I think I got it. Wow, it was a pain in the butt. And then we get our ground here. Alright, so I'm done with this side.